Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Ryan and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what is behind me. That would be my desk. Yes, my desk is behind me. Anyways, today's video is going to be my desk tour. Uh, we're just going to look at my desk setup and you'll get to see what it's like. Good to have some inspiration for your own if you fancy. Uh, let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. You can start a conversation if I should change anything. Anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna get started with the thing I'm actually sitting on. This chair. So this chair, uh, I'm actually a big fan of Mustangs and Ford itself. So I got this from the junkyard. It was, uh, the chair itself was a hundred dollars. I took it out of the car. I went to a thrift shop, got an office chair. Took the wheels off of said office chair, put a piece of wood in between the two so I can put the, uh, screws and everything together and make sure they're lined up and yeah I turned a Mustang seat into an office chair if you can see how I did it I, I may do it again so just let me know in the comments down below and I'll make that a thing but yeah it has this would be like where the seat belt goes the uh, armrest goes up and down oh, not the armrest that's the headrest headrest goes up and down I don't have armrests on it yet. I don't know if I will. I've survived this long without armrests, but I mean, options are always there. I, I keep going back and forth on it. I mean, I don't see a reason to have them now that I've had them and uh, been using it without them. But yeah, and they handle like an actual car. You can take the seat back. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's even a pocket in the back where I hold a lot of folders and things. So that's pretty cool. So now that I got the chair out of the way, let's sit down and talk about the desk. Can't really talk about my desk setup without actually talking about the desk. Although it looks very familiar, you've probably seen it a ton before if you like researching about desks like I do. The desktop is the IKEA Coral Beat. It is a countertop. It's in the walnut finish. And I have two black Alex drawers as the base that ho that hold up the countertop. I really like the, the combination of the walnut with the black. I am rocking two ultra wide monitors in the stacked position. The two monitor the bottom monitor is a 34 inch LG ultra wide, and the top monitor is a 25 inch ultra wide from LG. And I'll leave all the product links down below so you can get them yourself if you want to. The top monitor. Or oh, the bottom monitor is on its stand that it came with. Top monitor is not on its stand that it came with. Top monitor is on a monitor arm, and I forgot the name. The name is escaping me right now, but I'll leave it in the comments down below in the uh, description down below. So behind my two monitors, I have my Canon T7i on a tripod. It is using the kit lens, but that is how I did my Zoom calls and meetings and online school. It made it look really professional and I had the best camera in all of my classes. Uh, right next to it we'll talk about the microphone of choice and the stand for the microphone. So I'll first put up the stand. The stand is an array boom arm. I'll also link it down below but the reason why I got this one and yeah why I got this one specifically is because the mic had to go up and over the bottom monitor that my other monitor arm, or my other microphone arm, it couldn't do that because it, it couldn't go up and over the monitor and so getting the length to go to my mouth. Well, with this one, it has like a little gap or so, a little pole, like an extender pole, and then the arm comes out and it gets like about like nine tenths of the way to the, uh, from nine tenths of the way to the bottom monitor. So it's able to clear just fine. As we can see right here, it can clear and go all about the place, all over very easily and everything like that. So the microphone that is connected to said boom arm is the Audio Technica AT2020. It is the XLR variant. And 
With since it is an XLR variant, I have it connected to Focus Right Scarlet 2i2 interface. I think it is the second gen, but I'm not entirely sure. I also have it linked down below. But yeah, Audio Technica DAT2020 has been working fabulous. Uh, everyone's been talking about how great my microphone sounds during online school. Talk about online school. Another video that I'll post in the coming future is how I do Zoom meetings and Zoom calls and how to upgrade your Zoom game. But let's keep going with my desk setup. Next, I am going to go with my computer. Now, my computer is also on my desk and the computer has, I, I first got it used, but then I upgraded some components. If you want to see the first couple of videos of my computer, I'll have it linked down below. I made a couple of those videos. I haven't made a video of the parts I upgraded to, but what I am rocking is a Ryzen 7 3700X with 32 gigs of RAM. I think they're at 3200 megahertz. I have it. So graphics card. Funny story about that. But I, I was gonna upgrade my graphics card. I never did because of the rise of GPU prices, unfortunately. But I have a 1063 gig. I know there's gonna be a lot of comments, but I don't game that often. When I do, it does it doesn't cause that much of an issue because I don't do like the big performance like needing huge graphics card type games but anyways so that's what i'm rocking it does me quite good but i am bottlenecking the gpu a, a little bit uh when it comes to storage i have a one terabyte m.2 ssd i have a 240 gig ssd as my boot drive a one terabyte hard drive and a two terabyte uh hard drive as my backup drive so that's what my computer is and next let's talk about what's connected to my to my computer uh the peripherals so i can't talk about the peripherals without talking about my desk ma or my mouse pad my mouse pad is an an xl mouse pad of the, the world it's a world map with the time zones which is pretty cool and my keyboard of choice is the keychong k2 i did a video on that you can watch that if, if you want to after this video. So underneath my keyboard, I have a, a keyboard rest made by Keytron, Keycon, and it is the walnut finish, the walnut like wrist rest. It's like it's something that you wouldn't think is comfortable because it is made out of wood, but after feeling it, it's amazing. I I had the keyboard first and just used it without the wrist rest for a while. But because of the height of the keyboard, I decided to pick up the wrist rest because of how I was using my, how I was bending my wrist on it. And I can't see myself not using the wrist rest anymore. I got the wal walnut one because it matches with my walnut desk. That's, yeah. The Logitech G604. Yes, the Logitech G604 is the mouse that I'm mocking. And it's doing me quite well actually I had the um, I had the younger brother so the G602 that I had for a while and it's most definitely seen better days as you can see but I just see it as an upgraded uh, version of that and yeah another thing that's on let's talk about speakers that's also connected to my computer speakers are the Logitech Z333 threes i do believe and the speakers i mean i got them a while ago they're still working pretty good i i use them on the daily whenever i can it has a, it's a 2.1 speaker set pretty good for the price i think they're like 80 dollars. i don't know what they are now but uh my headphones of choice that i use when i'm uh video editing or sometimes when i'm gaming on zoom calls is my Philips SHP 9500s and I haven't done a video on those but if you want me to do a review just let me know just let me know in the comments down below 
one of the other things I have on my desk is a wireless charger. And it's actually one of the, it's an interesting piece. Because my wireless charger is handmade, I do believe. It's wood and resin. It's one of one. No one else has a wireless charger quite like that. Uh, they're unique, like I said, one of one. They're made by Carved. I'll leave them down below if you want to check them out. A couple other like knickknacks or just things around on my desk that I have is two cacti. I just like looking at them. I don't, I don't know. And then I have a Batman and Joker figurine. Big fan of Batman. And yeah, I, I do have a salt lamp. Just sets the vibe. I like the color of the tungsten. And I don't know. Just, makes me feel good it's hard to explain but just get yourself salt lamp on the wall behind me to my right underneath the window i have a graphics card the graphics card is an nvidia geforce 9600 gt and that graphics card was actually my first graphics card <laughs> so i just like to put it on my wall just i don't know it looks cool this is my first graphics card and that has been what my desk setup looks like thanks for checking it out that's the end of the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.